Hi, good afternoon. It is Friday, May 21st, and I wanted to start a what I wore in a week vlog, and I wanted to show you a couple of new things that I'm going to wear because I wore it this week twice, and um, yeah, I'm just really excited about it. Plus, I have some new things coming from the Doan sale, so I have the Nymphia nightgown and the Nymphia printed dress, and then I have two secondhand doing items coming the rose bay blouse and then i did a trade and i'm just going to keep that one a secret because i thought it was really fun um okay so i'm going to show you what i'm going to wear today what i'm wearing today right now and then um yeah i'll show you what i have been wearing and i will probably wear through the next couple days this is the oak meadow flora mini puff blouse and goodness gracious i just love it so much i just did a video i'll link it up here uh, somewhere where I just basically fawn all, all over it because I think it's so lovely. Um, the print is absolutely beautiful. Um, it is 32 degrees Celsius here, which is about 90 Fahrenheit. And this is like the coolest I've been. We don't have our air conditioning on. We're just turning it on now. Um, so I'm like, and we're in, I'm in my attic, <laughs> so I'm boiling. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the most comfortable I felt all day. I was trying to figure out what to wear all morning and then I finally put this on and I'm like, oh, good. So this is a, a cotton poplin, um, which is my favorite fabric to wear in the summer. It's crisp, it has a structure, it doesn't like lay all over you. Oak Meadow is a um, Australian company brand, so they know like what to wear in hot weather. And then, um, yeah, so this has this really lovely, um, yoke and then it gathers from the gathers start from that to the bottom and that happens on the back too so it has a lot of um volume here this is my way <laughs> to show you um yeah there's a lot of volume here so it's really love really lovely really like voluminous um but it falls falls really nicely this is one of their most popular styles and last time i saw it was on pre-order so go and see if that's available otherwise i'll have some link below, there's some really great ones. Poplin dresses from Everlane and uh, Lake Pajamas, if you've heard of it. But um, yeah, otherwise it has buttons that are covered all the way down. Look at this pocket. I'm not sure if you can see how nice this is. What a nice detail. So that because it goes all the way down, you don't, you don't want like it to be completely open, right? So it has this like privacy placket right here and it's so nice. Um, so this is easy uh, for breastfeeding. Um, yeah, and I love poplin because it dries so nicely. I have, my kids are in the back of my husband right now, just running through the sprinkler. And as soon as I get wet, like this dries really quickly. So I'm just like wet all summer for my kids. And then I'm just wearing these like secondhand, I don't want to get too close to my toes because I don't want to scare you guys. Um, these are my secondhand J. Crew, just like leather um, crossover. Flats are some really similar ones at Target, which aren't leather, um, but I've had that kind of fabric before in sandals, and it's really durable. So I recommend those. And then, yeah, let me show you what I'm going to wear for the rest of the week. So this is this outfit. And then, yeah, let me show you the print up close. Oh my gosh. It's all hand print, like hand painted by their illustrator. All right. So this is the Levisa. The Doe and Levisa that I got during the sale. This is the Blue Baby Kate. I have the shorts in the pink bijou floor. I believe that's what it's called. It was like released at the same time in the Seville and the set. So the Jane and the Scout short set. So I'll show you when I wear this, probably tonight or tomorrow morning. I'll compare the um, sheerness because they said this is less or this is more sheer than the other one, the pink bijou. And I disagree. I would say it's around the same, but I'll compare just to show you. And then this, oh my gosh, I love this dress so much. I wore it twice this week. It's all over my feed, both of my feeds at Kate Boss Edit and at Kate Boss. And so people are probably sick of it by now. But this is the Amarillo dress um, from Doan. And last I checked, they had almost all the sizes in there, except the medium was sold out, which is what I have. Um, I would size up in this dress. It's uh, a lot of people said it was really short. I'm 5'3", so it's fine on me. I'll show you guys throughout the week what this looks like on. But um, yeah, really lovely. The fabric is so soft. This is another really lovely hot weather dress. And it has kind of the same style where it has a yoke on top. And then the gathers come. And then, uh, yeah, just lots of really cute details. Love the pocket. Love, like, everything about it. And then this is, I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow. And it is the Poet that I got. 
from the dough on sale um last year two years ago i forget but yeah that's what's coming up hi it is saturday of the long weekend and i'm wearing my poet dress from doan i'll show you this is the poet from doan and i got it in one of their summer sales i think it was two summers ago it might have been last summer but this is the poppy print and it also came in a white it's so beautiful i just love this so much um and i have like every iteration almost every iteration of this i have the piper which is shorter i have the river top and the henry top there's a long sleeved dress version of this that netta porter netta porter netta porter uh sold but yeah i i really like this i think it's a very flattering um fit so it has these pin tucks here like a ruffle uh, down the front um, and then it has buttons and it stops right here and then this is where um one panel is and then it gathers start from that and go down so it creates a really lovely shape also has a puff sleeve with some pleats at the end there yeah and then i'm just wearing some simple sandals we are at my mother-in-law's house and we're in and out in and out chasing the kids getting coffee etc um so it's just something easy to wear on my feet and that's it good Whoop. Hold on. Good morning. <laughs> it is Sunday, uh, May something. It's a long weekend. It's I think it's called. I think you guys have Memorial Day down in the states. We have Victoria Day up here, so we also have Monday off. Um, and yeah, so this is what I'm wearing. This is my Lavisa. I was wearing it today, um, all morning. I didn't sleep in it last night. I slept in my white Lavisa. Obviously, I love this style. And then this morning, I changed into this to go get coffee. I don't know if I'll wear this. For the rest of the day, um, but I will show you what it looks like on. All right, this is the donut. Like I'll show you how I styled it in a second because I didn't go out like this because you can see, you can see a lot <laughs> um, in this. But yeah, this is the blue baby cape, and I got this during the sale. It has this really beautiful white um, embroidery up here, and this one isn't as stretchy. So I was going to mention this. I was talking to my friend about Lubisa's because we both have a few. Um, she's one, Yushi, you're the one who made me addicted to this. And she, uh, we were talking about how this one looks like it fits smaller than the other versions. So I have, this is a small, I believe I have this, the Lubisa in a small or an extra small. And I have it in the white and I have it in the Francis floral. And anyway, they fit bigger than this. And this is a small, I can't remember if I have a small or extra small in it. So in any case, if you see this one for sale, um, I, you can size up if you need to. This is like, it's fine. Like obviously it's like a very flowy, um, big dress, but, um, yeah, just to let you know, it does fit a little bit smaller than the normal ones and it's not as stretchy, which is crazy. The other ones, um, I breastfed in with my, with my son. And this one, like I don't breastfeed him anymore. So this one is a, like a brand new one that I'm not stretching the collar out. Um, and you can't, this is as much as you can do. So the embroidery on it stops it, I believe, from stretching out. So just to let you know, if breastfeeding was in your like near future, um, or if you wanted to wear this off the shoulder, um, it's you can't unless you like go up a lot of sizes and then it might be too low on the sides so yes this is sheer um i'll show you the pink bijou so i have the scout shorts here and i kind of wanted to show you to compare the sheerness of it so this is the scout you can see my hand and then this is the blue baby kate i would say they're really similar this might even be more sheer and in the listing, originally it said the Blue Baby Kate was more sheer, so I don't know. If sheerness is an issue, both of these are sheer in general, um, and you need to find a slip, which I've never found the perfect slip yet. I just layer. And so I'm, I'll show you what, how I wore this. This is how I wore the Levisa out. So this is a really long uh, jean jacket. It covers my bum and that's what i like about it so if i wear leggings or anything that like i'm really conscious about showing this part of me i don't know why but anyway um i like this length 
before that. This is really old from Forever 21, like honestly five years ago. But I'll link what I can find that's similar below. Um, yeah, because I wear this all the time. And then this is my Cezanne Claude bag. So this is my whole getting, whoop, getting um, coffee and a cinnamon bun look this morning. Good morning, afternoon, no, yeah. It is Monday, May 24th, um, and it's the May long weekend for Canada. So I said yesterday that you guys had Memorial Day, that everyone in the States who watches this, but that's next weekend apparently. So um, just wanted to point out that mix out. Anyway, this is a day without school, a day without um, anything going on. So I thought I would show you um, my outfit. Okay, this is the Dawn Thistle. Thistle, I think so. There's a short, there's a shirt, there's a top version, a blouse version, and then there's the dress version. I think this is called the Thistle. If not, I'll correct myself and I'll put it in the description box below. Um, this is one of their older, older styles, like one of their oldest styles. It's from one of the spring collections, I believe, and it came in a also golden color, which was a later season, but this is one of their original styles and I just love this so this has so you can only find this second hand and this has a fabric covered button um neckline and then the the holes are right here and then you can do this up pretty high if you really want to um but otherwise it goes down to the, the holes the buttons go down to here and then the bust line is right here and it's like adjustable for gathers but it's not adjustable otherwise i forget what size this is i'll put this in this uh, that in the description box below but um yeah this doesn't this like goes out to here and that's it um and then it has this drawstring here that is adjustable and that's that hits a weird spot on me that hits like kind of my lower waist i think if you're really tall that would be useful um so i don't really use it um yeah so i just kind of keep it loose and then yeah it's knee length that's such a nice length you know no one doesn't really do this length anymore I was looking at all of their new stuff, their new collection just dropped today, and all of their minis are like 34, 35, four and a half inches for a medium, so that's usually the, the length that they do now. But this is really nice. So this is probably around 35 in the front, 37 in the back. And it's just a lovely, easy dress. I love dark floral prints. If you've watched me before, you know that I just, the dark floral prints are so nice when you have children and they're like sticky fingers everywhere. Um, it's really lovely. And then um, it hides everything. And then I'll show you the sleeve carefully. So it's elastic. So it's nice. It stays above my elbow. It's a little loose on this side, but it stays really nicely above um, my right side. Yeah, one of my favorite dresses from Doan. I will keep this forever and ever and ever. Yeah, I just love the style. If they redid this, I would like buy one in a heartbeat. It's so nice. And then I'm wearing my Doan Ballet Flats. These are velvet ones. So these, I find that these ones are pretty delicate. Like you can see, let me see. You can see that they've torn here. And I've had some that have torn um, on the sides too. And then I've had some from Seasons that are completely amazing quality. So the newest ones, the blue ones, are amazing quality. And then some old ones I've had to repair. I think I've had to repair like two. And then I put the a new sole on the bottom. So these are delicate. Um, if you buy them secondhand, figure out what season they're from. I think the newer, the better. I think they, I used to work in footwear. And what we used to do, well, what they used to do, I was just a lowly um, graphic designer. But what they used to do is when they had like a shoe that would sell well, they would try to figure out different ways to, um, um, have it cheaper to like make it in a cheaper way. So I feel like Doan probably went through that um, Can't say for sure. That's just what I assume and so it just went through some quality issues and I think now it's back So I think it started out as a really strong shoe went through some like weaker um, Moments and now they're doing some suede and now I think the structure is a little bit more better I think the quality is a bit better with their newer ones So yeah, that's just what I'm wearing today yeah, we just went to the playground all day today. It's a lot colder here. Spring is back in Canada. So I could wear long sleeves. And yeah, I had to close this window actually because I'm freezing. But this is what I'm wearing today. I will see you tomorrow. I think one of my dresses are coming tomorrow, my trade. 
So I always, holidays are always annoying because you don't get mail <laughs> on these days. I'm just like watching my stuff just be parked. I have two things tomorrow. I have one thing. I have the Doe and Eveline dress and then I have um, my trade that is coming. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, have a, a good day. Hi, it is Tuesday, May 25th. Fifth, I think and um, I am wearing my Amarillo and from Doan and I've worn it like two times this will be the third time in, like the last like week or two weeks on my Kate Boss edit so I thought I would show a different way to style it so I'll show you how I'm styling it um, for Instagram and possible like mornings like this is something I would actually wear and then I'll show you um, it just by itself all right so this is Amarillo it is so cute and super soft. I absolutely love it. Um, and this is a really old jean jacket from Forever 21, like years and years ago. And yeah, and then some like Comedy Garçon uh, canvas sneakers. So any, obviously any canvas sneakers would work. Um, I don't usually wear sneakers with dresses, but it's something that I really like for where I live. I live in a very, I live in a city outside of Toronto. And everyone is just very, very casual. So this is a look that I think would help like dress down a dress and not feel so dressy. Um, it's fine to wear dresses. I wear them all the time, but sometimes I just feel overdressed. And so I think this is kind of a cute way to uh, feel a little bit more casual. And I think these look really nice together. I was gonna pair them with my Cezanne Jack shoes, but I left those at the cottage. Um, so I have these ones that I pulled out because I like the white. I think the white makes it look fresh. I have gold ones too, but I don't like them as much as this. And yeah, this is a really nice length of jean jacket. Um, I'll find some below. I think I saw some at Madewell last season. I'll see if they have some again. Um, but yeah, I will link them with this outfit. Uh, similar ones. So yeah, and then let me show you what the dress looks by itself. Okay, and then this is the dress by itself. So this is, these are the pockets. So I'm 5'3". First of all, I'll tell you my height. And this is a size medium. So everyone on the Facebook group uh, talked about how this was a very short and small dress. And so when they did the restock, I was like, I'm going to size up and get it. And so I'm really happy I did. So this is a size medium. And it doesn't feel too big. My bust is about 34, 35. Um, and so the there's a lot of room down here because this is where all the gathering is but then it's not too um like big on the shoulder and the shoulders are my smallest part of my body usually i have to like size down in voluminous dresses because they don't fit up here on my shoulders so this actually fits perfectly so i would size um up in this so get a size bigger if you want the length um this isn't that voluminous not nearly as voluminous as the oak meadow flora that I showed you and yeah just a really nice length I think I showed the hem earlier but you can't really let it out because it's different it's a false hem you can see the seam there it's different fabric and so I think it would just look really weird to have one tiny little piece of fabric there you could still try it and see what it looks like but yeah oh and these are my Doen um ballet flats in ruby so this is the dress it's really really cute super soft I love the bits of pink in it. At first I thought this dress was too colorful for me and I actually got it for my daughter and I got myself the blouse, but then I thought the blouse was too much so I canceled that. And then my daughter got this and then everyone on the Facebook group looked so cute in this dress. So I had to try it and I'm super glad I did. I love it, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, and so these are the pockets. You can fit my phone in there in a pinch. Um, I've had to repair right here because my children kept ripping on it. So be careful what you put in the pockets. They're not 100% useful. <laughs> They're not for complete storage. Um, but like they'll hold some like cute rocks or whatever you happen to come upon. Pine cones? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I just put my phone in there sometimes. And that's it. And then I'm going to show you the Everlene. And I'm scared to do this because... I'm not good at first impressions. I just got it today and I'm not really good at the whole, yeah, the first impression because sometimes I show something and I'm like, I love it. And then I'm like, actually I don't, or I'm really quiet or I'm like, I hate it. And then I grow to love it. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like um, and say what I'm going to say and just take that with a grain of salt. Um, 
yeah, I'll show it to you right now. Okay, and this is the Eveline. And my first impression is that it's really cute and I really like the length. This is a small. I've heard this dress fits on the bigger side. This dress goes all the way down to XXS and all the way up to XXL, I believe, when usually they have it on each end. Um, so yeah, really cute. Um, I'm not sure if this feels a bit big or not. What's, what's funny about it is that this isn't adjustable. No, I was like, hold on, it is, but it's not. I just pulled it out. The sleeves are adjustable but the um, front tie isn't, it's just for show. And some people are saying that the, the collar was really stiff. I think, I think some people don't like how much this frills out. I really like it. I think that's flattering. Um, it creates like a nice balance on this. This is really nice. So this is a cotton poplin. They call it a dress, not a nightgown. I'm sure you can wear it as a nightgown. There's the Nymphia nightgown that is almost the same thing, only longer without sleeves, which I also ordered. <laughs> um, and we'll see if I wear it as both, but oh, this is nice. I'm starting to really, really, really like this. Um, one of the things I was thinking of ordering during the sale was the sterling, but I was unconvinced on the sleeve. And so I never ordered it. And then and then also I wanted the floral one, which is um, on pre-order. So that one wasn't it or in or part of the sale. And so I was like, never mind. And then the Eveline came in stock. So I saw a small and I was like, I should try that. And I've been fitting especially when it's extended sizes, I've been fitting like closer to a smaller medium in their clothes, but I think I could size down to an extra small and be fine. I don't think I'll do that because I really like the length of this. Okay, and sheerness. Let's see, can, you can see my underwear. So I'm wearing nude-ish underwear. <laughs> Let's just take a look at my butt. Um, and then I'm wearing, I'm wearing a nude bra. So you, you can, you won't be able to see the nude bra, but I think it'll be fine. This, my underwear is like pink. I can kind of see the outline in it. What's nice is that there's so much volume so that's not pressed up against your body. So it's not like you'd really see too much anyway. But yeah, I think this is really great. Um, I like the shape of it a lot. I think this is a very true A-line, which is nice. It feels like there is a shape to it. Sometimes they just look like they have so much volume that you can't really see a specific see from the from this side this looks like just like really potato-y <laughs> but from this side i really like the the uh, a line uh i don't mind looking like a potato it's okay um but yeah okay so let's check out the details this has this really lovely embroidery ruffle here sorry let me tie this up so you're not staring at my boobs Okay, so this really pretty um, eyelet detail right here and on the sleeve. Uh, my friend said that she just talked to Dylan and asked him about the Eveline and it's going to come in a print soon. So if you're not convinced with the white, which is in and out of stock, I just saw a few sizes today. Um, there's another print coming. I'm not sure what it is. It might be one of their block prints that they've, they've released. Um, and then on the hem is the eyelet again. So... From a sewing perspective, since I'm sewing again, this could be relatively easy to make. I want, I'll see if I can find a similar pattern and I'll link that below. But otherwise you just have to find the trim detail and some white poplin. I think finding the fabric sewing when sewing is the hardest part, especially online. Um, right now everything is closed in Ontario. So like I can't go and feel fabric and like Fabricland doesn't really have a really nice poplin that I've seen. So I think finding the fabric would be the toughest, the toughest part. But yeah, this is really pretty. I keep trying to fix my hair and it's not working. <laughs> I left it curly today and then I tried to recurl some parts and it still is all over the place. Any case, I wanted to show you this dress again. Um, I was talking to a friend yesterday about how to style it and we were just brainstorming and I thought the curly hair was cute, even though it's like really messy, but normally a uh, good hair uh, curl is good. And then I found some cute shoes I wanted to show you. Okay, so these mules are really cute. I'm not sure where I got them from. They say XOXO on them. I wanna say they're from like winners or something. They're years and years old. Then I have these Lafleur Randall Starlas. So this is a really flattering shoe. Um, 
on like on my leg so i like how this looks and i think this would be like a really good beachy um or patio date night this feels very beachy today to me or else and then this is what the lafla randall this is the starla so these little stars on them as you can see they're the golden beige i'll have them linked below um but yeah i thought this was another cute cute look so what I am wearing today and why I took it off is I have the Dome Pierre and I took it off because I, I got a medium. I traded someone my blue one for their medium and I just shortened the strap because it was way too long. So I'll show you. Um, so I did it in two, two spots. So I cut it. This is the back. I cut the back and then I shortened it an inch. So I, I sewed it up here and then I sewed it up right here, which is just under the ruffle on the back, so you don't even notice. So it's under here, you can barely see it. So I thought that was like a really good way of um, tailoring it, because it's too low on the sides. It would show my bra strap, so I was wearing it today, and I was like, yeah, I should shorten it, and that was the easiest way um, to do it. So I'll show you what that looks like on. Okay, so I shortened it about an inch, and it's still, eh, I, think it's, I think I did a good job. <laughs> so I had, I had this in an extra small in the blue. I got it last summer, and then it was it was a it was always just a little too tight right here. So you can hear the wind; it's so windy outside. Um, it was always a little too tight right here. And then someone was selling this one, and I was like, "Hey, we should trade," because um, this is a medium, and like I could fix it. Like I knew the armhole would be a little bit long, and she was like, "Sure." And I got it, and it had a couple of set-in stains in it, and it was t like I was told it was like excellent use condition. That's what it was advertised at. So I was really bummed about that. I'd like to think that she didn't know that they were there or she thought they, they had been taken care of the stains. But in any case, after trying a lot of things, what actually worked was making like a paste with Tide powdered laundry detergent. There was just like a bunch of stuff like you could tell it was like food. It was like all over here and it, you had to really strain to see it. Like you couldn't see it in the photo. She had photos of this and you couldn't really see it in the photo um, so it just looked like a very slight discoloration and the background to this is like an off-white anyway. It's like a cream. So it wasn't very noticeable, but obviously it was noticeable for me. And so I was like, oh gosh, and I didn't say anything to her cause I don't, I honestly don't think like she didn't, we didn't exchange any money. So I don't think that she was trying to do anything terrible. Um, I just don't think she knew about it or knew about the extent of it. So in any case, um, yeah, so I got, so I did the, I did Tide powder and I got just like a, like a, almost like a yogurt cup. And then I put in the Tide powder and then I put in enough water to make almost like a paste so that I could spoon it on with like my finger onto the spots that needed that. And I did that for half an hour. And then I put this in um, a, like a rinse and low spin in my washing machine and then I let it dry over and then this morning it was perfect. So before that I had tried baking soda and water and then uh, my Tide to Go, like my uh, Tide to Go pen, which didn't work. And then I had this farmer green stick, which is my usual go-to. And so you rub it on, it feels like soap. You rub it on, you let it set and then you kind of rub it, the stain in. And then I noticed that there was, the color was running on this on this on the print and I was like no and the tide the tide powder fixed it I think it is so um if that happens to you or if you have something that isn't like perfect anymore try the tide powder I'm gonna go do that with some of the things that I have like um uh armpit staining not armpit, sweat stains on I'm gonna see if the tide powder will do that and it worked fine like you can't see there was some running. I can't even see it now. I'm so happy with the, the job that it did with this. But otherwise, yeah. Now, now everything's good. So let's just talk about the dress itself. Um, I love the style of this. I love how it goes up on the sides and how it's like a rounded hem. I think it's very flattering. And another thing that I really love about this style of dress is the, um, the tie. The tie is so nice. So it's super long actually this is a good example of how used it was i didn't wash the tie yet the discoloration yuck so i'll have to color i'll have to um put that in the tie and i have every bit of faith that that's going to come out so i'm going to wash that but um this wraps around me how many times one two 
three times and then it has this nice string so it could go around again but i think this is a very flattering um waist tie thickness on me so um i five three my i have really short legs and i have a longer body but then i have this nice little boop my little love handles here so any anything thicker than this any strap thicker than this is not really flattering on me and so i have like the violetta i just sold that that has a thicker strap there's a couple of other styles where I have a thicker strap and I just don't like the look on me, so I usually wear it loose. And so I'm really happy with how this looks because I have more of a straight up and down, like my, I have my little bloop here, but I have more of a straight up and down um, shape to me. So things with ties are nice because they create shape, but then it also just like kind of accentuates like my squareness, if you can see that. So anyway, this fabric and the thickness of the strap of the waist tie is like ah, perfect. So, and that's actually a good thing to know because if I ever hem things, which I do, I'm 5'3", then I could just make a tiny, tiny little um, waist tie. And I'm not sure how you make this one because it's rounded. So I need to, I need to figure out how to do that, but that's one of my options now. So this is the, it's called the Pierre in the Blush Mini Earl. Floral. I have everything linked below. I've seen this floating around on the real real overpriced as usual, but um, yeah, I'll link it if I find anything secondhand. Good afternoon. <laughs> I always mess that up. It is Wednesday, the next day from yesterday, and um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. And I got my new dawn stuff, so I can't wait to show you those. So it is a hot, hot day out, and one of my favorite things to wear are just like poplin dresses, and this one is from Doan. It is the Meadow Dress, and I just love it. So they released this print last year. This one has like mushrooms in it. It's really cute here. Really cute, very sweet print. And they released them two, this in like blue, not this dress, but they released two prints, the sienna color that I'm wearing and a blue. And this dress only came in this one, which I was kind of bummed about because I do look better in blue. But I love this dress. It is, yeah, what I wear all the time for um, running around with my kids in the summer. It's what I did all last summer. I love this dress. Um, yeah, and then there's also big pockets. This is just like my Amarillo. So anything with like poplin, big pockets, I'm all for it. And then last year, I was breastfeeding last summer, so this was really handy having buttons. So yeah. Anyway, let me show you what I got. Hi, so I'm interrupting what I was gonna do the other day to show you, um, like to refilm that part. Uh, so I have my Nymphias here and I'm gonna show you everything. But um, when I went through trying all of that on, I was like, my first impression of course was just very weird. And I was like, okay, I might return the brown floral Nymphia because it's too big. But then I discovered it has this handy little drawstring. So it changed everything. And I was like, I should just redo um, those impressions. And I wore it like two days in a row. So I absolutely love it. So I will show you that. Plus my sterling that just arrived. Um, so I'm going to return the Eveline. And I will try all of that on for you. Uh, I'm going to keep the Nymphias because I wore them already. And I love them. And then I'm going to keep the sterling because it's super cute. But first I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. So it's actually um, Monday June 7th and I made this fun so I <laughs> I got this uh, fabric from Blackbird Fabrics um, it's a Canadian company there in BC and I found this pattern right here that looks exactly like so many of my favorite Doan pieces like the the Sia and the chestnut dresses and so I was like I just want to make a dress that is like a little bit longer because I love this style and so yeah this is just really pretty liberty um fabric and it's made um to knee length which is what i really like so here it is that's it <laughs> i'm very very happy with it i changed the sleeve on the pattern i wanted a bit of a ruffle so i did that um and in the pattern they wanted you to add a casing via a bias tape and i don't have bias tape and our stores are all closed still um so i yeah i did um I made the casing out of the sleeve itself. I just folded it over. And Doan does that actually, if you look at their stuff. So yeah, this is it. I'm very happy with this. It's all elastic. I'm not sure why the neck 
went um, square. It is a little tight on my armpit and that's because I used a bigger size elastic at the top than the pattern called for. Um, the pattern also called for just a tie to be tacked on, so I did that. Dylan has that for the Sia top. And I'm just really happy. This is cotton. It is like 35 degrees Celsius today, so it's super hot. Um, so this is gonna be a really nice um, summer dress. So this is, I'll show you the fabric up close because you can still buy this, I think, some places. It's really lovely. It has like a very, very dark blue um, background. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Um, so yeah, I'll have the pattern. The pattern is out of print, sad. Um, but I found mine on eBay, so if I can find it anywhere else, I will have that linked in the description box below. But now I will show you the Nymphias with all of their lovely features. Okay, and so these are the Nymphia and then the Sterling in blue, which is so pretty, and which I half iron because I have an iron, not my, my uh, steamer here, and I don't know how to iron those sleeves. Um, so here's the Nymphia. I've worn this a couple nights in a row, and I just love it. I love white poplin nightgowns. They're just my favorite. And so this is in an extra small, and then I have the floral in a um, small. So the extra small fits a little bit better. I think I'm just going to tack this up at the top. Um, it's not going to be noticeable. So I just want to shorten this a little bit here. But otherwise, there's a drawstring from here to here, the corners on each of these, which you can adjust. So that is the, a nice thing that you can, a um, nice adjustable moment. Um, but yeah, let me show you what these look like on. All right, this is the uh, Floral Nymphia. This is also available at knit a and I'll have that linked below. Because um, they usually have like, if you don't shop, if you haven't shopped there yet, they have like a 10% off like for first customers. And, and their sales are a little bit more regular. They actually have some Dawn stuff on sale right now. So this is the Floral Nymphia and it is so nice. It's been really hot here, like I said. So it's been a really nice eerie um, dress to wear. Um, so this i've already adjusted this i'll show you how low it goes and but um yeah otherwise i'm wearing like a pretty unattractive like big coverage bra and you can't really see anything on the sides yeah a little bit like if you wear a strapless i bet that's that'll work better than this but yeah so this is the height of the um neckline with it pulled not all the way in because when i pull it too much in it shows too much of um, my arm and it feels out of proportion um, but um, yeah I'll show you what it looks like um, all the way down so this is how it arrives and you can see that it is it's quite low and I was really disappointed because um, it's really hard for me to return stuff in Canada um, I don't get free returns like everyone down in the states so um, I was kind of bummed about it and uh, actually net porte does free returns so if you are a Canadian and you want to try it out they include the duty and the taxes in with the price. Um, actually, you can't shop at this dress from Canada. I'm so sorry. They have different stock, but they do have free returns on the items that are um, available. Sorry about that. Anyway, so if you have um, a bigger, like this dress is pretty like forgivable, like depending on like your bust size, like it can go much bigger than mine. My bust is about um, like 34, 35 inches around um so yeah so this has a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to, to sizing but it also like lays nicely like obviously that's a bigger bust than um i have but it still like flows nicely and fits pretty well hangs nicely i guess so yeah that's as low as it goes and i'm yeah, really happy that it has a little bit of adjustment so again it adjusts from here to here but not all the way up the sleeve i have a friend who actually got that done at a tailor so that is something if you have a good tailor, they can do a drawstring all the way through. And then you can just shorten it that way because even the extra small, extra, extra small was too short on her. So just so you know, that is an option. And yeah, I will show you the white. Let me get you a close up of this print first. So it has a lot of actual fall colors and the blue is really cool. And this is a Liberty fabric. So this is fabric that is um, available to purchase, I believe, from Liberty themselves and some other stores that carry it. And then it also has this really pretty scallop detail on the hem and around the neck ruffle. Like this, 
which is really pretty. So it ties into the blue. I think that's really nice. It's all very subtle. Like it's hard to see through their photos. Their photos are pretty dark online actually um, of this item, but it's just really lovely. And I think you can layer it nicely with um, a shirt in the summer, like a long sleeve t-shirt. So there we go. Now for the white one. All right, so this is the extra small in the white, and I just, ugh, I just love this. The white is so classic. It's so nice to wear. I don't think it's really see-through. I'm wearing nude underwear, but I don't think it's very see-through. If you wear dark um, undergarments, I bet it will be. But um, yeah, and then it has this tie, and again, it's adjustable from here to here. Um, my son, whenever I wake him up, <laughs> whenever I've woken him up this week, um, the first thing he does is just yanks <laughs> Such a cheeky, cheeky monkey. So if you have toddlers, it's like a fun, fun thing for them to play with. I don't know. But it has this really pretty um, eyelet detail here, making a nice scallop hem. And that's also echoed on, on the bottom. So I just love, love their stuff. I don't wear a lot of white around my kids except for nightgowns because I feel like I wear this until for like two hours of the day in the morning and then I make them breakfast and I'm wearing an apron so everything's okay and it survives so it's like my window for wearing white is very small <laughs> around them but it's worth it when it's a nightgown because I get to enjoy it at night sleep in it and then yeah enjoy it in the morning this is just so lovely I just absolutely love it it's like ugh, I love all their white stuff white poplin is so soft and just so classic I love this forever Okay, I will show you the Sterling and Everlane next. Everlane. All right, so here's the Everlane really quick. Um, I just think this is really pretty. I think I could make this. Um, and I'm kind of holding on to that while I send this back because it's so pretty. It is a little bit big and like right here, I think I would want to size down. And this is some a dress that I would want to wear out. And I don't really feel comfortable with it being all white, but it has the nicest details like the sleeve which is fully adjustable. And I think I can make it based on that sleeve. Like it's all, like looking at that pattern, I'm like, I can make a lot of the doe and dresses <laughs> based off of this pattern. You just have to add lower, um, lengthen, shorten dresses, uh, sleeves, add like drawstring, etc. So we'll see, we'll see. I'll uh, put my money where my mouth is when I uh, actually make all of it. But this is beautiful. This is very, very pretty. It's sold out online. So look for this when it comes back in stock. It's so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, just not for me right now. Um, yeah, I think I would size down in this. That's a nice length though, right now in a size small. But I think an extra small would be bigger. And again, potato-y. But that's okay. All right, now let me show you the sterling. And this is the sterling and it's so cute. I, I like the color a lot. Blue looks actually nice on me. Um, on my skin. So this is a nicer color for me uh, for every day and it's not white So I think it's a little bit more forgivable. It has a lot of really pretty details. Um, it has this like ribbon going through um, The neck here and is it on the sleeves? No, it's not on the sleeves, but there's room for it. So it's an interesting trim um, And then yeah, I'm just kind of trying to break down how you would make this so it's like obviously attached to this fabric and the hem and then I guess they cut it off and put it up here cut it here and here and here but it's fun it's fun once you start sewing like i just started sewing again so it's fun to try and figure out how things are made anyway this dress is really lovely um it comes in white and it comes in this really pretty floral which i like but i like it in the estelle top better and i like this in a solid a solid print cute I just think this is so pretty. I love the sleeve. I love the shape of it. It's not too voluminous. Very easy, pretty dress. Now that's the end of this video. Um, I'm really happy with my Nymphias, my Nymphia gang, this color, this this um, dress, and then uh, the Evelyn will be going back. But, so that's what I wore in a week-ish, <laughs> waiting for everything to come in to show you. Um, and I think I forgot to show you the Rose Bay. So I will show you um, a clip of that here while I talk. I'll, get, I'll make room for that because I did show it in the redone film part, but it's like down, down in the wash. I think I don't know where it is. So I will 
let that play. Uh, meanwhile, give me uh, a thumbs up if you like this video and let me know anything new that you got from Doen or any questions you have, anything at all. It's fun to hear from you all. I will see you next time.